if you're a high school football fan or coach or player, it's the most exciting day of the year coming up on Friday because everybody's excited to start the season. Coach Spagnoli's been there for a long time. In fact, he's, he might be the longest tenured coach in Lake County. Um, so they, they got a system there in place. My perspective as a football coach is this. We think we know what our team is, and we have a good feeling what they are going to be, but obviously it doesn't get defined until five or six weeks down the road. The quarterback at Antioch Athen is a good player, and we know they have a couple talented receivers, so they're going to throw the football. Play sound football from the beginning. Um, I think that that's one of the keys when you're playing the Lake Forest team. They capitalize so well on, on people's mistakes. Besides takeaways and turnovers, the special teams is kind of that hidden phase of football that often separates you know, playoff caliber teams. The biggest message is this, concentrate on us. Don't worry about the fans, don't worry about the other team, don't worry about what number jersey anybody else is wearing, take care of us. And if we can focus on our assignments and play fast and play fun and enjoy this thing, everything is gonna work out great. the CN100 game of the week and welcome to the 2019-20 season. Tonight, our opening football game of the year, it's Antioch against Lake Forest. Welcome everybody, I hope you had a great summer. Jim Blaney along with my Hall of Fame partner Jack McInerney. We are excited about this season and ready to get it going and we have two teams that have been fixtures in the playoffs the last few seasons. Jack, let's first of all talk about Antioch. They had a nice run to the quarterfinals last year. They only suffered one loss all season, but it ended their season. They want more this year. Well, they want more this year, and it's happened the last couple of years for them. They're 30 and three over the last three years, so they've been one of the better programs in the state, one of the stronger teams. They have a tough run through the playoffs every year, and they always manage to do well in the regular season. They haven't lost in three years in the conference, but when they get deep into the playoffs, they kind of stumble a wee bit. Meanwhile, for Lake Forest, they've been a fixture in the playoffs as well, but a lot of times they've been squeaking in at 5-4, and 6-3, and three, but they had a good season last year, lost in the first round, so they also feel like they have a little bit of unfinished business, and they come in with a great defense. They really do. They have two probably the best defensive duo in the state with Mills and Uline. And the thing, the other part of it, Jim, is besides having a very good defense, they have an outstanding kicking game. Now that's going to be a big part of tonight's game because their punter has got a full ride to uh, South Carolina. And that's a big factor. So you play good defense and have a real good kicking game. Who knows what could happen? And of course, Jack and I are always joined for these games by our great friend who's standing by in the sidelines, Mark Kruger. Mark? All right, Jim Lenny, thank you very much. I know it's only the season opener, but this is a huge early test for the scouts of Lake Forest going up against the Sequoits of Antioch. These two teams opened up the season a year ago, Antioch winning by a score of 27 to 14. Jack mentioned the last three years, Antioch has gone 30 and 3. They currently have a 28-game regular season winning streak. As a matter of fact, the last time they lost a regular season game was week 8 of the 2015 season when they lost 17-10 to to Wakanda. They have an explosive offense. They averaged over 40 points per game last year. Three Division I players on the offensive side of the football for the Sequoits. Now, head coach Brian Glasshagel, we caught up with him earlier in the week, and he told us that, oh, by the way, we also have a pretty good defense. You know, a year ago, it used to be the no-name defense. Everyone likes to emphasize the offenses, but we know and we understand in order to make championship runs, you need a great defense. Uh, I think the stat a year ago, we only had eight points scored on us in the fourth quarter uh, the whole season a year ago. Um, we know what we need to do off defensively, um, and the defensive staff knows what we do. The kids need to know. So defensively, yeah, we're returning about half of the defense, five, six guys that were starters or played a lot a year ago. And, uh, you know, we filled in those, those other missing pieces nicely. 
Let's take a look at my keys to the game now. First for the visiting Sequoites of Antioch. Avoid turnovers. Last year in this game, Antioch committed, believe it or not, seven turnovers against Lake Forest. Can't do that tonight. Special teams. The Sequoites had a muffed punt in last year's playoff loss to Notre Dame of Niles. They need the field position game tonight. And then push the pace. We talked about this explosive offense. They want to move the chains quickly, keep the Lake Forest defense out on the field. As far as my keys for Lake Forest, Mills skills. Of course, talking about Division I prospect defensive end Riley Mills. 20 tackles for a loss last year. He's going to need to apply pressure tonight. Kai's the guy. Jack talked on a uh, touchdown. And Kai Kroger is one of the top punters in the country. Averaged over 40 punts per punt last year. And then the O-line. Lake Forest, three returning offensive linemen back from last year. They're going to need to create some holes for the less experienced scout running backs. Those are my keys to the game. We need to take a timeout. When we come back, Jim Blaney, Jack McNerney with a call of our season opener, Lake Forest, Antioch. The CN100 Team of the Week is next. you back to Lake Forest High School for tonight's game, the opener of the 2019 high school football season in Illinois. It's Antioch and Lake Forest on the CN100 Game of the Week. And that is the Alawa Farm and Wildlife Center here in Lake Forest. The CN100 Game of the Week is brought to you by Xfinity. Get advanced speed, coverage, and control on your home Wi-Fi network with Xfinity X5. Change the way you Wi-Fi. Call 1-800-XFINITY today for the ultimate home Wi-Fi experience. One of the most functional and beautiful facilities that we ever visit, Lake Forest High School. The football stadium is on the west campus. We're not at where the actual school is. And they moved out here because they were, did not have the ability to play night games because the high school is located right in the middle of town. So they built this athletic complex out here by the administration building, and it is actually spectacular. It's one of the few high school football fields in Illinois that does not have a track around the field.
Kelly McManus on the keeper for Antioch.
Scouts 23 are live.
Number 20, Jahari Scott the ball carrier for the Scouts.
Nate Grady, number one, Krishan Watson. Thank <laughs> you. 